In this segment, we will discuss about how to write VHDL code for down counters, basically 4 bit down counter. Friends, in the previous segment, we have discussed about 4 bit up counter. Now, we will discuss for 4 bit down counter. As far as the 4 bit is considered, we can just check this state diagram where we have the terms as 0, 0, 0, 0. Initial reset condition is there, and from that, we have to go in descending orders. So as far as descending order is considered, the first state is going to be R000. From that we should switch to 1111, that is 15 in decimal. Then it is 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. This is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And from 1, it should reset to the initial condition as 0, 0, 0, 0. So this will be the workflow for the down counter. Now, while writing its VSDL code, again the requirements are going to be we need a clock pulse as well as a clear function that can reset the initial conditions and from that we need an output vector which can store 4 bit data maybe as Q3, Q2, Q1 and Q0. So let us see how can we write its VSD. So the first step is going to be defining the library element which we can write library IEEE. Now to use it or to access IEEE library, we use the term as use IEEE dot standard packages logic 1164 and from that we should use all the components so we will use the extension as dot all. Now we will define its entity as down counter is, we will go for the port as clock clear inputs and Q is our output standard logic vector whose length is 3 to 0 so that it can produce the signals as Q3, Q2, Q1 and Q0. We will end the entity. Now we will come across architecture. Architecture style is behavioral and the entity name is down counter is. Once it is over, we will go with defining a temporary signal as signal temp, which is basically a standard logic vector whose length is 3 double zero. Now, why we are creating this signal or we are just declaring this signal because this is a sequential circuit where the internal changes take place simultaneously that can be stored across Q finally and to do so we are using this particular signal we will initialize begin for architecture then we will come across process statement as we are dealing with the behavioral style of modeling in that we have the signals as input clock and clear again we will initialize the process statement and we will come across first statement if clear is equal to 1 now in case of if clear is equal to 1 we should rest, uh, simply put our values as temporary less than or equal to 1111. Now why 1111? Because our uh, initial conditions are going to be in descending order. And to do so, we have to subtract the given terms from 15. Just like 15 minus 1 is going to be 14 and subsequently. So this condition is going to be 1111. If this condition is not satisfied, we will go across else if clock 1 and clock tick event. That means if clock is equal to 1, and if there is an event that is a change in clock pulse from 0 to 1 upward, if this condition is satisfied, our circuit start to accept the input where we can write temp should be less than or equal to temp minus 1. That means every time this condition is satisfied, our output will be decremented or simply it is subtracted by 1. For example, if we have the first condition as 1, 1, 1, 1, that is the combination. So when I subtract 1, 1, 1, 1 with 1, we will get triple one zero that is going to be 14. Now it will continuously execute this loop until it get to reset 0, 0, 0, 0. So that it gives us the prefix of a down counter. Then we will end if, end the process and we will return the signal as Q less than or equal to temp. That means whatever the data stored is here in case of temporary function it will be returned to Q that is our output and we will end the architecture. So this is going to be VHDL code for 4-bit down counter. Thank you.